first into the tank, an entrepreneur ready to open the door on a magical idea. I'm Sally. I'm from the beautiful Southern Highlands of New South Wales. The idea for my product came from my two beautiful daughters. I was researching ideas for their birthday and I stumbled across this concept that I knew would help families. Hi guys, how are you doing? Hi, how are you? This looks fantastic. My dream is to see my product in every store, in every house, for it to be a household brand. Talking to the sharks about my product is going to be absolutely once in a lifetime. And I think they're gonna love it. Hi, I'm Sally, and I'm the founder and fairy in charge at Little Fairy Door. I'm asking for $325,000 for 20% of my company. A fairy door is a tiny little door that you put down low on a wall or up high on a shelf, and the fairies come in and out at night and leave little notes and presents for well-behaved children. The idea for Little Fairy Door came from my fairy crazy daughter. With my background in graphic design and web design, I had seven months of secret fairy business and within a week of launching the brand, I had sold out. Wow. It's been a pretty amazing journey. We are running into our fifth year with over a thousand stores stocking the Little Fairy Door brand. And we'd love some help from a shark or two to help spread this fairy magic as far and wide as possible. Sally, how, how does it work? Well, it's a tiny little door with mailboxes and mushrooms, and fairy footprints leading outside the fairy door. We also have some fairy notes. Oh, uh, in here. I was getting emails from families who are having all these amazing results. Families whose children are now sleeping in their own beds at night. They're toilet training. They're cleaning up their rooms because the fairies reward them for good behaviour. <laughs> now, Sally, I have to tell you, I'm a customer. Unreal! I bought this for nieces and lots of little ones. But tell us about your sales, because if you're in a thousand stockists, that means you must have some serious sales behind the business. We've got 300 new stockists in the last 45 days. Oh, wow. Last year, we did 700,000. Yeah. Since the start of this financial year, we've done 868 so far. We're set to do 5.1 million. Because of the interest that we've had from the US, the market is pretty incredible over there. Wow. On $5.1 million, what do you expect to make? We're looking to make 900. And that is in US. I'm in. I'll give you exactly what you're after. 325 grand, 20%. No, he's a, he's, he's <laughs> Dean of Queenslander, he's rushing I want to look at who's the appropriate partner for this. Your projected sales, 5.1 million, 900,000 profit for the next financial year. Right. That's why he's getting so excited. So you just got to calm him down a little bit. Well, I'm actually making the offers. They're just talking and gas bagging. So, you know, we can, we can do the deal if you really want, or you can just continue to do this, so. You, you want a partner who deeply wants to work with you and understand you? Correct. I need some sharks to help me make this the household brand that it's so close to being. That's why I bring a team to it. I've actually got a team of people that actually help. I have an operations manager and I have uh, finance and accounting staff. Yeah. So we put resources in there to actually assist our businesses. So we can move on with this or we can, you know, keep with the banter. This is from a guy who has absolutely no fairy experience. <laughs> we don't know that. He's keen, he's keen. Imagine what you do if you sprinkle some fairy dust. Exactly. Where do you live? I didn't even ask that, did I? Look at that. Did even ask where she was from? <laughs> yeah, you, you've got fairy dust in your eyes, Steve. We're about an hour and a half south of Sydney, so we're in the Southern Highlands. Right. OK, well, we've got one shark in. 
for deliberating. I think we should get on with the feeding frenzy, but don't worry, we don't eat fairies. It's OK. Please don't You're eat safe. my fairies. You're safe. <laughs> They're very special fairies. The fairies actually come with us to our hospital visits. Oh, nice. These kids are going through really terrible things. So we go and we hand out hundreds of fairy doors once or twice a year. And they're for those moments when they wake up in the morning and check if the fairies have visited, they're not sick. I'll be in for that too if you need a hand. That's all right, regardless what happens. So, Sally, I'm going to make you an offer. <laughs> I'm going to offer you the 325 for the 20%. But I think more than that, I am literally just around the corner and I think you're going to need some hand-holding and I'd love to be that person for you. Thank you so much. Two in, three to go. <laughs> oh, I'm in. I'll, I'll just quite happily match Naomi. Yeah, I'll make you an offer. I'll match the offer, 325 and 20%. I think you've got this kind of on a roll, but I think I can help move things along in the US. Thank you. Look, I'm with the rest of the group. 325 for 20 percent. So if you sell 20 percent to all of us, you walk away with 1.625 <laughs> million dollars, and you work for us. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if that isn't fairy dust, what is? Look, I, I'm honoured. I know that all of you could help. I'd love to have the business meetings and have all of you involved. So I'd love to get more than one shark together on a team. Would any of you be interested in banding together? How much are you prepared to sell? Would you sell more than 20%? There would be something that I'm definitely open to. All right. It will become quite a logistics business. It's about having the right stock in the right place at the right time. Absolutely. And that level of logistics experience is going to be really important for you. Absolutely. You need sharks that are used to high growth businesses. Yeah. If I was to make a suggestion, knowing how he manages stock and has in all of those things in the logistics, I would love to work with Glenn on this deal. You do 10% each? Correct. At half of 325. Yep. Plus a $325,000 loan if you need it for working capital. So that's, in total, $650,000. Now, while you're contemplating that mediocre deal, <laughs> over here, I'd like to introduce you to Janine, who has a proposal. Um, us three at this end, we'd like to make an offer of $486,000 for 30%. OK. So we will take 10% each. Now, what you get, though, is you get a very wide pool of experience and you get three sharks. And the better looking end, I think. Yeah, well, you know, Andrew's, Andrew's correct there. <laughs> so are you offering up a $460,000 loan as well? No. So they're just putting four sixty two. dollars we're at three twenty five dollars plus another three twenty five dollars as a loan, in total $650,000. Just so you know with the loan though, I don't know what their loan is, I don't know what percentage it is. That could be a negative, not a positive. Right. So, yeah, sure, we'll put it up as well. Sally, she's very persuasive, <laughs> but just listen to the detail. And can I mention that we'll have great board meetings? You don't want great board meetings, you want constructive board meetings. You want board meetings where people are actually going to give you value. <laughs> don't give away too much because don't you are on a roll. Too much. And if you would like my contacts in America, which are deep in retail, right. uh, happy to open the doors to give you a hand on that front too. OK, Sally, it's time to decide. Put us out of our misery. All five sharks are willing to spend big money for a piece of Sally Copas's business, Little Fairy Door. Would any of you be interested in banding together? Glenn and Naomi have made an offer for 20% of the company. You do 10% each? Correct while Steve, Andrew and Janine are asking for 30%. We'd like to make an offer of $486,000 for 30%. OK. 
OK, Sally, it's time, time to decide. Put us out of our misery. Look, to me, it's, it's a huge decision. All of you have that business mind to help me with these strategic decisions. Naomi and Glenn, I'd like to take your deal. Oh, oh, no. No. <laughs> may, may the fairies always be on your side. Thank you. Well done. Congratulations. What a great job. Well done. Very Sally, well done. It's Thank fantastic. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Really all the best, mate. Really appreciate it. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, Mary. Bye. Hey, winner, winner. Just saying. Sometimes <laughs> the fairies get it wrong. I don't know what was in your fairy dust, but you had them all hook, line and sinker. I can't believe I got all five sharks. Tough decision to make, though. I think that we definitely made the right choice. They're going to be a huge part of how we take Fairy Door to the world.